every time I have black pudding, I think to myself, should I have black pudding more often? <laughs> I'm a bit like with the pictures, you know. Every time I go to the pictures, I think to myself, I should come here more often, and then I never go. All right, lads. All right. Oh, yeah. That's the idea. Can I join you? No, we're wolfing this down. We've got a lot on. Uh, how are you uh, fixed for a bit of lunch later on? He can't. That's why we're having this now set us up for the day. Motor through, eh? Yeah, that's it. Your dad used to say that. He'd have a big breakfast, set himself up for the day. Then at lunchtime, you'd see him. Pying chips like that. <laughs> Still, he was full of good advice he couldn't follow. <laughs> he did his best. There's the rain man. Oh, that old woman. He's called Ryan. He's gone in the back. Do you know, I hate that, me. When you're going somewhere and there's no one serving, tell him he's missed out on uh, £3.25. We'll pass it on. Don't eat too quick. You'll give yourself indigestion. See ya. Hey, uh, finally managed to get the Scooby Doo mystery machine started. Oh, yeah, when? Just before we came in here. Didn't get very far, man. <laughs> Brilliant. Morning. Morning. Thought this was knackered. So did I. You must have given it mouth to mouth. Well, will you tell him to shift it? I'm seeing the midwife in 20 minutes. You can get out of there. There's loads of room. Do you want me to help guide you out? Don't bother. I'll manage. He is and he's right, you know. There's no restrictions. He's trying to wind me up. Now, why would anyone want to do that, eh? Oi. I thought we are all mates again. So did I. Cheers, Roy. Uh, thank you. Bye-bye. Hey, black pudding was on fire, Roy. I'm so sorry, was it uncooked? No, no, it was perfect. Bye-bye. <laughs> well, she managed to get out easily enough by the looks of things. What, do you think she did it on purpose? <laughs> Not that petty. Did it start all right? <sighs> Sounded like my granddad after one too many rollies. Just blurring like mad. Can't I fix it? <sighs> well, we could try, but it's... You know, to be honest, I might be taking thoughts about going away this summer. Just taking all that time off and wasting so much money. What's changed your mind? Nothing. No? Tommy, give us a lift with this engine, will you? Hey, Tina said your missus had a bit of a sweater about where I've parked my van. Shall we just move it? After we've done this. Come on, chop, chop. Now. Can we get it started? Just need a bit of cough syrup. All those things you put on someone's chest in an emergency. <laughs> Clear! Boom, boom. Defibrillator. <laughs> oh, trip you out. Anyway, it was Tina's decision. No spirit of adventure. Yeah, give us a key. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, what's this? What? The light in the bumper. Was it already like that? Uh, I think I'd have noticed, Ty. I told you, Tina said that Kirsty was boxed in. Who's done that? Who do you think? Steady on. Well, she must have batted her way out. Spiteful cow. Do you mind? Well, look at it, Ty. You know what she's like. Just because I park outside your house, she does this. But you could have got a bus through that gap. Honestly, what did I say about leopards? Well, you're going to need a whole new bumper, and that light's finished. I'm not so sure any of it's worth replacing. I paid good money for this. <laughs> did you? I think you paid bad money for this. And you know what they say about throwing good money after bad? Yeah, well, I wouldn't have to if Kirsty didn't think she was on Blackpool Pier playing on the dodgems, would I? She was going to see the midwife. Oh, and what? That gives her license to start damaging other people's property. Do you know what, mate? I don't like your tone. There is, she is now. Please aren't above the law, Tyrone. Anything could have happened. We don't know. Nice work. What's this? Ah! Oh, let me think. Why didn't you just ask me to move it? Why did you just go ploughing into it? I never touched it. Aged out that space bit by bit, took me 15 minutes. I was nearly late for the midwife. Was everything all right? She said to keep my feet elevated if my ankles swell up again. Oh, OK, well, I'll get a couple of cushions. We can put them underneath. Um, hello. What are we doing about this? Didn't you hear what she just said? She's had swollen ankles all week. She doesn't need this stress. Oh, and I do. Make her pay for the damage, Tyrone. Look, there is nothing on her bumper. So? It doesn't always show. <laughs> I think it was. Uh, not necessarily, no. Not when you know what you're doing. I'm sure there's a knack. Oh, yeah. Police training day one. <laughs> Grow up, will you? Me grow up. I'm not the one smashing into people's vans and playing the pregnancy card so your boyfriend takes pity. Get away from her, Tina. If I wasn't pregnant. Oh, yeah, then what? I'm serious. What? Leave her Oi, alone. Get your hands off my girlfriend. Don't you talk to me like that. I've had enough of your evil little games. And you, you're a mug for putting up with it. It's no wonder girls treat you like dirt and walk all over you. You take one look at your big stupid face. Warning you, Tommy. Yeah? I feel faint. Why not to do those cushions? You just shut up. Don't tell my girlfriend to shut up. I'll shut you up if you're not careful. Do you want something? Go on, then do it. Hit me if you'll make you feel better. Stick up with that lying, manipulated cow. Oh, 
Come on, if I was you, pal. Not with two witnesses and a couple standing by. You're a lucky boy, Tommy. I swear to God, me and you, we're finished. Why don't you make the lad a cup of tea? He's had a shock. Why don't you make him a cup of tea? I don't know where anything is. Sugar. Three. Why did I have to say all that stuff? Because it's the truth, probably. Everything we say, we say for a good reason. Now, I don't know the full story. I don't know what happened. But it looked to me like she bashed up your van with her car. The second you try to say anything, Tyrone flies off the handle like a savage. Yeah, I suppose. I tell you what, if your granddad had witnessed that, and your grandma, they brought him up, you know. They did everything for him. He was like Mowgli, that kid. It's not Tyrone's fault, it's Kirsty's. He still took her word against yours, though, didn't he? She's carrying his child. Right, I need to go back to work now, babe. No, I'm not gonna go back in. No, no, you sit there. You get off. I'll uh, finish the brew. You sure? Yeah. Thanks. And, uh, thank you. See you later. See you. Where do you keep the milk? Have you never made a cup of tea in your life before? It's in the fridge where it's traditionally kept. No, no, no. Tyrone bought it off of me. It was all above board. You were there, were you? You saw the paperwork. Well, of course I didn't. Dad was old. He was confused. Well, they still let him live there, though. Rent free, I think. A lodger in his own home. <laughs> Tyrone's sweet talked him into virtually giving it away. I'm not sure that's true. You're very trusting. It's a very nice quality, Tommy. But there's another word for trusting. Naive. You've just witnessed Tyrone's true colours. He's a big pudding on the surface. Everybody's best buddy. The next thing you know, he's all set to leather you. He's in love. Who says he wasn't the last time when he was packing up my dad's belongings and shoving them into the box room? Dad was like you. He was trusting. And Ty thought the world of him. And why wouldn't he, eh? <laughs> my mum and dad, they were his meal ticket. A pair of kind-hearted old saps prepared to take in a stray. Well, he fed that stray up till he was big and strong and very, very persuasive. Then, he turned round and he bit them. I don't know, he always seems dead grateful. Got what he wanted though, didn't he? They're both dead, he owns their house, and you, their own flesh and blood, were left to pay rent like a stranger. That was a stranger. Your family! Dad would have turned in his grave. He was cremated. Then Tyrone squeezed you out and all. For a woman, again. You don't turn to jelly every time some bird flutters her eyelids at you, turn your back on your mates. But we'll, we'll be all right, won't we? I mean, we have to be. We work together. You don't have to, though, do you? Why? What, what else am I going to do? And Dad, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. So what's he offering? A job. Helping him oversee the rest of the development, so being his eyes and ears, and basically just spying on Jason, which is money for nothing. How much money? We haven't discussed that bit. So it's not money for nothing, then, is it? It's the exact opposite. I, I'm probably going to say no anyway. I'm uncanny. You're a skipper. Hey, it's a good trade. Well, who knows? When Terry's place is up and running, it gives you the chance to patch things up, doesn't it? And he definitely stood by you earlier. If it wasn't for him, you would have got battered. Uh, not necessarily. <laughs> he wants to get to know you. You know what people say. Yeah, and I heard what people say about my dad and mom. They said he was a junkie and a nutcase. He wasn't. He was a kitchen fitter who fell in hard times. He lost some business and he hurt his back. And then he got in some debt. What do people know? Yeah, at least he didn't sell you. Uh, no, but he let me down. And I forgave him. Look, all I'm saying is just give it a chance, yeah? Oh, that... I know it's late. What do you want? Were you in bed? No, I was doing Kirsty hot water bottle. Can I come in? <sighs> she was really upset this afternoon. Yeah, well, so was I. You had no right to say that stuff. She never went into your van. Yeah, well, that's debatable. Molly did what she did, but that's got nothing to do with Kirsty, and it doesn't make me a mug. I know it doesn't. And I'm sorry. Right. Well, I don't want any more of this, understood? I don't want you talking about Kirsty in that way again. I won't have it. I understand. Good. The thing is, I, um, I didn't just come here to apologise. I wanted to let you know that I've decided to leave the garage as of now. Is that right? Ty, you've been a really good mate to me, and you still are. I don't want to spoil that. I just thought I should back off. Right? Tyrone, have you got that bottle yet? You 
You should get back to her. Yeah. Who are you talking to? Yeah, best, um... Thought I might find you here. Workaholic, me. Always have been. I, uh, I went to see Tyrone. I said sorry and we made up. Oh, well, that's, uh, good news, I suppose. And, uh, I also told him that I won't be working at the garage anymore. So, you know, if, if that offer's still open... Of course it is! <laughs> you and me, eh? Of course it is! <laughs> we'll take on the world. Uh, we'll see. It was nice today, wasn't it? Yeah. She liked it. She loved a good dude, did better. I bet she worked at enough of those over the years. Career barmaid. Imagine that. There's worse jobs. Yeah, I'm not knocking it. I wonder why she never took it up. Well, there's no mystery to it. She's just clever than most, that's all. I mean, who'd run a pub? Hey, steady. No, well, you won't see me down in that cellar at half six in the morning. I won't see 90 if I did. That's probably why she stayed so cheerful. You look done in. Yeah, I am. <laughs> Everything all right with your tummy earlier? Oh, yeah, never to get handle. Go on, get yourself home. You sure? Yeah, I'll finish this off in the morning. You're gonna have to cross a name off the road, so you know. I haven't deleted a number from my phone yet. Can't bring myself to do it. You will. You've taken it very well, I must say. I would have given anything for my dad to reach that age. Yeah, I bet. I'm sorry. Ah, oh, sorry. Right, night. Take care, love. Night. You'll get a slap backside if you keep that up. I'm not past giving you a thick ear, lady. Forty-one years I've worked here. All was ready. I don't know what for, but I'm ready. <laughs> That's a parking round the back. I told the bloke we'll give it a clean as well. There's the keys. You killing that here? What to me neck as it is? We'll get Tommy to do it. Tommy to do what? Uh, uh, needs a valet. You not told him? Well, I wasn't sure if you were serious or not. Serious about what? I've quit. Since when? Since yesterday. You start my new job today. So how come I'm only hearing about this now? Cos I was hoping he'd come to his senses. I'm looking to the future. You already had a future with us. Tight, I don't want to do this again. Kev, thanks for everything, mate. See you around, lads. What job? Search, mate. Reckon. I love it. That's over the top. Nah, it's ace. Would you like that? Feast your eyes on this little beauty. <laughs> now that is class. Thought you'd approve. <laughs> There's 500. I want you out and about spreading the good news. Use a Duckworth gift of a gab. No problems. Then what? Then you can help me interview some staff this afternoon. Seriously? Of course. We're partners, aren't we? There's a contract being drawn up as we speak. Nice one. Um... I was going to ask you about wages. Wages? Behave yourself. We're talking profit share here, kidder. Oh, uh, even better. Just you wait. We're going to make a great team, you and me. Weatherfield won't know what hit it. <laughs> <laughs> Is uh, egg and tomato bomb? She is right. 
Can I have a few of these on the counter? Certainly. Yes. Unbelievable. Is this what you left the garage for, is it, eh? It's a fly post, some dive. Uh, it's not some dive. It's a cocktail bar. It's a, a very classy late-night venue. It's not a name Seven Feven, anyway. Well, the spelling is certainly unique. Oh, using numerals instead of letters. That's an assault on the English language. Hang on a bit. This says Viaduct Street. That's Terry's. You working for Terry? Might be. Well, that explains the secrecy. Are you out of your mind? He's me dad. He's no one. He's explained everything to me. Yeah, I bet he did. Tight. Well, if you want to be his lackey, then that's fine by me. We're building something from the ground up here. Terry Duckworth doesn't build. He destroys. Don't say he didn't warn you. And bring in a younger crowd. Oh, Lord help us. If you ask me, it's about flaming time. This area's got less atmosphere than the moon. I couldn't agree more. Which is why I'd like to offer free VIP membership to all friends and local business owners. Oh, you've got a nerve. No, just a vision and a son that shares it. All right. What can we expect? Hiya. Sorry to interrupt, but I'm a bit lost. I'm looking for a Unit 7. Are you now? Well, it seems you look in. I'm Terry Duckworth, the owner. Um, co-owner. Uh, yeah, my mistake. Look, love. Name's Cherry. Uh, the thing is, Cherry, if you've come for the audition, you're a bit early. You mean the interview? Well, interview, audition. It's all the same package when the cherry pops on. Got that top. Changed them at all. Steady, Norris. Steady. <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> I said, what's going on? I took the words right out of my mouth. Well, come on then, out with it. I'm opening a lap dancing club. Oh. What of it? Before I lay you out. All right, keep your hair on. You let me know, yeah? Absolutely, love. You want to try having a sense of humour, love? And you want to try having some self-respect? Ta-ra! Seventh Ever's a strip club. It's a table dancing establishment. There's a big difference. Yeah, it's called a G-string. You should have told me. I thought you knew. Well, I think it's disgusting. Hear, hear. It's not a brothel, it's a bar with dancers. Who take their clothes off. These places are all over nowadays. He's got a pine. Walk up any high street in the country and you'll find one. This isn't a high street, it, it's a residential area. With young families. Everything that happens there, it happens behind closed doors. Exactly. What, you even said yourself it might bring us some trade. A trade being the operative word. And I must say, I'm surprised at you. You've got to speculate to accumulate, haven't you? Oh, is that what you're going to tell Tina? She'll understand. You're exploiting women, Tommy. Somehow I doubt that. We're providing employment opportunities. Come on, son, we don't need to listen to this grief. We're the future. This lot, they're the past. I'm proud of it. Oh, and you stay there once a word. Don't leave me. It's all yours, Stale. See ya. He is, a son of Hugh Hefner. I must say, I'm surprised at you. You must be very broad-minded, I'll give you that. What are you on about? See, I was going to tell you. Him and his dad consorting with ladies of the night. But Dad's having some dancing girls in the club. It's no biggie. Dancing girls, my eye. The strippers, pure and simple. Strippers? You've got to be joking, Tommy. <laughs> that is so sleazy. They're not strippers. They're lap dancers. It's going to be done dead tastefully. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. Tastefully dressed lap dancers. I very much doubt it. It's nothing but exploitation, Tommy. Getting a load of women to dance around making a show of themselves for a load of pervy old men. I've already said it's not going to be like that. <sighs> See, just give it a chance, will you? There's a meeting in the Rovers at seven. I assume I can rely on your support. Oh, I I'm afraid not. There's a quarterly meeting of the Weatherfield Bat Fanciers tonight. Oh. And you can tell your father he'll not get away with this. There will be no den of iniquity on this street. Not on my watch. Oh, there he is, Mr. Popular. Hey? 
Everyone's talking about you. Slagging me off, you mean? Well, who can blame them? You're setting up a dodgy club on the doorsteps. I'm a local hero, me. Providing employment in very tough times. Employment with no knickers on. Seems you know, up. they're a pretty determined bunch. They're not going to let this lie. I'm not going to lose sleep over a load of pensioners. Uh, it's not just the oldies. Everyone's getting involved. Bring it on. I can see it now. They'll all be sat round drinking tea, stuffing their faces full of cake and whinging on about the good old days. By the time they've got themselves together, Seventh Heaven will be up and running. <sighs> the uh, front door's open, so... Uh... Oh, we Working late, I see. Nice one. I was just setting up for tomorrow, but I, uh, I think we, we might have a bit of a problem, mate. What is it? You best come and see. Oh. Get yourself comfortable. Oh, jeez. Oh. Well, I'll tell you what, though. I don't think I'll be able to sleep in one of these deck chairs. I'll have to have a go at rigging up some hammocks. Oh, get you. Bit of a boy scout on the quiet, eh? Uh, 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 we shall not. We shall not be moved. We shall not be moved? I understood you weren't stopping. But I have to be sorting the papers out at six in the morning. I don't mind doing a stint. No, it, it, it's all right. It, it, it's my turn and I insist. Uh, besides, you need a beauty sleep. Oh, you insist, do you? What a surprise. I don't see you volunteering. Listen, I'm too old for this malarkey. I shall bring flasks of fresh tea and coffee and sandwiches. That's your lot. They do say an army marches on its stomach. Are we going to get in and out, dig a tunnel or something? Well, we'll just have to move the barricade and sneak out when no one's around. What was that? So what's this, then? The knitting club? I told you there'll be trouble. This, Mr Big Shot, is people power. You've got a chainsaw. We'll act the flaming door down. Of course, yeah. Tommy, go get it, will you? We'll show this lot who's boss. If you lay one finger on anyone, we might have to sue. And it won't look good for you taking a chainsaw to a pensioner. So what exactly do you hope to achieve with this sad little effort? If we're in the way, you can't carry on with the work. We're having a round-the-clock sitting. We've worked out the rotor and everything. Ooh. A rotor? I am scared. Underestimate the power of the rotor at your peril. Tommy. We've got to get shut of these idiots now. Yeah, we can't, though, can we? We don't want to get the bad publicity for the club. If we don't sort this mess out pronto, there won't be any club. Delays cost money. I'm already in it up to here. We're going to shift them, and we're going to shift them now. By legal means, I hope. Uh, whatever means you like. This is costing me money. There's old ladies in there. You can't just drag them out. Why not? Because there are laws against that sort of thing. And there are laws against what they're doing. Yeah, so call the police. Yeah, I think we should, you know. Let them sort it. Well, uh, cops if we have to, but... Uh, Let's see if we can't persuade them first, eh? Persuade them how? Keep your hair on. Nobody's going to get hurt. Oh, here he is! The peddler of sleeves. And I love you too, darling. In fact, I tell you what, you want a job here when we open, cos we're going to need an heavy on the door. No, you're not, cos you're not going to open. Here, here! All right, listen. Situation is... You're breaking the law. You're on my property and I could sue you for what it's costing me in this man's time. Delays to opening and damage to my reputation. This little game you're playing could end up being very expensive. You're prepared for that, are you? Don't be silly. I'm glad your dad's not here to see what you're doing. Shut your mouth, you! And Owen, you have daughters and a grandson. I'm surprised you're happy to be involved in this. I'm just a builder, love. It's bricks and mortar to me, nothing else. What, and you have no morals and no principles? You're happy living in a cesspit, are you? A cesspit? This is going to be five-star! Leather seating and recess lighting! Tommy, it's disappointed in you. Are we calling the cops or what? Looks like we're going to have to. So you want to be arrested, do you? No, what we want is for you and your plans to go away. And not come back. I can't believe you lot. Here I am wanting to open a business that will employ people and raise a tone round here. I'm the sort of entrepreneur that this country needs. Whereas you lot, you're just jealous. You've never amounted to anything, so you don't want anybody else to. You're mad, you are. Do you know I think he is? Come on, Dad, this is getting us nowhere. Right, you've got one hour. If you're not gone by then, you'll be no more Mr Nice Guy. You'll be taken out of here in handcuffs. Yeah, OK. Right, well, we'll see you then. I'm going to sue you, every one of you, for every penny that you've got. All right, come on, come on. Bye. Thank you for calling. 
I can't say he's improved as he's got older. Oh, well, he says that we've got an hour. Is that going to be long enough? Well, I don't know. We'll give her a ring, huh? The lap dancing club, but not on my doorstep. <laughs> oh, sorry, love. I know your boyfriend's involved. Hey, it doesn't mean that I'm in favour. Well, why aren't you out there protesting with the rest of him? Well, I've got to run this place, haven't I? I'm not sure Tommy's all that keen. He feels he has to go along with his dad. Well, he will. Let me open this door. I'll get it. But I really admire what they're doing, and I think they deserve a big vote of thanks from the rest of us. Mm. Oh, thank you. Oh, hiya, Sean. So, is that the hot pot? Well done. Well, I did have a little bit of difficulty with the recipe. Mm. Do you want to take it through to the kitchen? I'll do it. You'll need to get to work, won't you? Oh, yeah, I do, actually. Um, if you just, you know, prepare it into bowls. Yeah, I know. I used to do it for Betty. So it's as nice as Betty's, is it? Well, let's just say it's as um, close as I could get. <laughs> well, I'm sure we won't be disappointed. <laughs> exactly one hour. They're still in there. Let's get them out of there. Here we are again. Oh, it's you. It is, yes. So, it's going to be the hard way, is it? You want to be arrested and get your names in the paper? I don't mind. Come on, you've made your point now. Why don't you just leave it at that? Is it because he's your dad you think you've got to back him up? Because even you can't believe the rubbish he's talking. Anyway, the Lord's on our side. This is a peaceful protest. It's not going to be peaceful for very long. Oh, threats. Prepare yourself for violence, Henry. I am prepared. Look, you said you were going to call the cops. Why don't you just do it and get it over with you? Yeah, come on. No need. I can save you the call. Oh, hello. Oh, come on. You know who this is, don't you? Is this Beyonce? No. It's PC Soames right now, and don't you forget it. So what appears to be the problem, sir? Uh, this lot's a problem. They're on my property, and I want them out. Have you asked them to leave? Yes. Uh, and threatened us with violence, didn't he, Emily? Oh, yes. You do know that's an offence, sir. The offence is what they're doing. Well, I don't think so. And if you continue to behave in a threatening fashion, I shall have to arrest you. Arrest me? This is a farce. It is, and I've got better things to do with my time. I tell you what, let me know when it's all sorted, yeah? I don't believe what I'm hearing. I've told you. It's his fiance. And I've told you. The only offence I'm aware of here is the threatening behaviour of yourself and your colleague. So I'm telling you both. Back off. Well, come on, Dad. I'm going to get some proper coppers. See what they've got to say. I'll tell you the same as me. Yeah, well, I've had enough of this, so I'm going. And then there was one. I'll be back. You think you've been clever, don't you? But I'll be back. Yay! She's tight, fiance. Of course she's going to be on their side. It doesn't mean she's wrong in what she was saying. What about the bistro? What about it? I bet you can get through their backyard and into our place. Only for let us. They're going to have to. This is costing me a fortune. Us stood around here when we should be in there doing the place up. Better still, we go in there at night, we scare them to death. They'll be fighting to get out. I'm not into scaring old ladies. You with me, though, yeah? Oh, hi, T. Oh, it's Master Chef. Listen, have you been serving the hot pots? I have, but I tried it myself first, and I've got to say it was on a roll. Well, I do know, yeah. yeah so, uh, I had a better secret ingredient. Oh, what's that? A bottle of stout. I've watched her. The last thing she always did, had a bottle of stout. <laughs> well, I never would have guessed. Ah, oh, uh, Roy, yes. Now, 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 listen, we, we're going to need four meat and potato pies with uh, chips and vegetables. Uh, oh, is that all right for everyone? Perfect. <laughs> well, I'm not sure about Emily. <laughs> oh, well, she'll have to make do. She should have stayed awake, shouldn't she? No, Roy, that, no, that, that's fine. But we will need some desserts. What have you got? Who is it? It's Kirsty. She was brilliant. You haven't been back, have they? No, no sign of her. Jam roly poly, all right for everybody? Yes. Terrific. Uh, four roly polies. Just as long as you don't take proper legal advice, to be quite honest, I don't think you've got a leg to stand on. Well, I'm only trying to get people's attention, that's all. Uh, all with custard? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, all with custard, right? I can't keep riding to the rescue. Well, maybe you won't have to. If enough people take against the idea, they'll have to take notice of us. No, 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 that, that, that's all right, that's fine. Well, well, uh, as quick as you can. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Right, bye. <laughs> Supplies are on their way. Ah, best solidity I've had in years, is this? I enjoy it while it lasts. 
Yes, can I help you? Yes, you can. You can do us a big, big favour if you've a mind to. Perhaps I should just tell her what it's about. Hey, I know how to speak to a beautiful young lady, thank you. You know we're planning on opening a club next door to you. I've heard, yeah. Well, what we need to do right now is have a scout round the back, see if there's another way in. Well, I don't think there is. Oh, don't worry. We'll uh, see for ourselves. Uh, well, excuse me. I don't think so. No, excuse me, love. This is costing me money. I've got to get in there. So either step to one side or I'm going to have to move you. Look, let's just leave it. Hey, you're all right. She's not so stupid as to try and stop us, are you, darling? What's going on? These two gentlemen want to go and have a mooch around the backyard. See if there's another way into our premises. Yeah, well, there isn't. And even if there was, I wouldn't let you use it. Oh, come on, what's the matter with you? What's the matter with me? The matter is, you're trying to open a lap dancing club next to my restaurant. Now, out! Yeah, we will, come on, this. I was going to offer you some free tickets. <laughs> now, you have insulted me. Out! We're going! You try and be good neighbours, and this is what you get. Come on, son. Unbelievable. I know. You know, if he gets that scummy club open, we'll be finished. No one will come near us. It's sorted now. Yeah. I want you here. I don't care. I'm paying you good money. Come on, son. Stuff to do. Are oh, you joining us today, eh? If we can fit us in, then, between your busy protest campaign. Oh, don't you start. Well, we're the man down here, aren't we? We're way behind, so if you do decide to do a bit of work, I'll appreciate it. Right, well, have you seen my Allen keys? No. I left them here. Yeah, well, I haven't had them. Well, somebody has. Well, have a look at the side of the socket set. That's where it was last time I saw them. Hiya. How are you? Hi, Tyrone. Hi, so. We found them. Yes. So, what are you doing here? I've got your cake. I've got one for you too, Ty. Chocolate eclair. Oh, right. Thanks. I'll, uh, how much do I owe? Oh, it's all right. It's my treat. Well, you didn't have to do this. No, I know, but you said you've got a busy day and I've got the day off, so, uh, don't get used to it, though. Shall mind her. Oh. Hello? Oh, I'm not right away, no. I'm at work. No, no, you sound really bad. I'll be about, uh, 20 minutes. OK, bye. Well, you best have them. I've got one pick Jack up. So you're looking for emergency childminder? No, I'll just have to set the day off. Oh, it seems a bit daft, seeing as I've already got the day off. Oh, go on, I'll, I'll look after him. Are you sure? <laughs> You owe me big time. Oh, that'd be brilliant. You know what it is, don't you? Yeah, I know. Trust me, he'll be fine. So I'll see you at six o'clock for your tea. Don't be late. Yeah? Mm. Thanks, so. No problem. Bye. See ya. Well, would you look at that? Jammy Kevin Webster getting his own way again. Feet back under the table, wife bringing your cakes, running round after you. Listen, Ty. Me and Sally's back together, properly back together. So you better get used to the idea. I know it's going to be difficult for you, but you're engaged to a gorgeous girl who's pregnant with your baby, so I suggest you concentrate on your own life and let me sort mine out. This Astra needs finishing for five. Can I have you declare? That old biddy in the cafe refused to serve me breakfast. She's banned me from the cafe. No, I'm not taking sides. That is because you understand the artistic nature of the performances we'll be staging at my club. Well, I'm not sure about that, and I don't think our salad approve. Are you and Sally still together? Well, we've had our ups and downs, but yeah. Hey, did I hear you right? You and Sally back together? Well, yeah. I don't think we'll be taking out a full-page ad in the Gazette, but we're definitely moving closer. Well, in that case, I'm delighted. Just make sure you look after her this time, eh? Oh, I will do, don't you worry. You don't sell tear gas, do you? No, we don't. And you know what? What? You're banned from here and all. <laughs> now, go on, get out. Right, here you go. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Is it nearly lunchtime? I shall have to be back by one o'clock. Are we expecting reinforcements? Oh, the next shift yeah. starts at one. Oh, come on, protesters. Let's not let our spirits flag. We're fighting for decency and dignity. Oh, this is cold. Oh, well, how about a sing-song to keep our spirits up? Uh, I, I don't think that's a good oh, idea. Come on. <laughs> we go. We shall overcome. Oh, you don't know that one. OK, um... <clears throat> we shall not, we oh, shall no, not be no, moved. no, not that one again. We need something with a bit more of a tune. Onward, Christian uh, no, no. soul. Not religious. Right, so 
Not chanting, not religious, a good tune and something we all know. We're there and there, we're falling behind schedule. You want to tell me something I don't know? Sorry, mate, but it's a fact of life. I can't put this job on hold forever. Any bright ideas? I'm new to this game. Can't we smoke them out? Smoke them out? How? With smoke. Hang on, I, I think I can hear something. What is it? It sounds like singing. Mama. Sounds like Bohemian Rhapsody. I see a little silhouette of a man Scaramouche, Scaramouche, will you do the fandango? Thunderbolt and lightning, very, very frightening Galileo Galileo, 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 Galileo I'm just a poor boy That's from definitely a poor family. Family. This, this is beyond the joke Actually, this sounds quite good, you know Right, that's it I want to sort this out once and for all. What are you going to do? Hello, can you put me through to Councillor Peak, please? Yeah, he knows me. Tell him it's Terry Duckworth. You can't go. I need you here. This is going to get sorted really soon. There's nothing I can do when they're out calling me and I'll work. Toasted is amazing. You are the queen of toasted. Meeting Rita at seven o'clock. Well, that's a bit early for the next shift. Who is it? Oh, no, Hayley. That's not right. Oh, Hayley. Or well, maybe it's a trap. Please, now, come on, let go. It, it, it could be a trick. Well, I'll go and speak to you. No, I'll do it. Hello? Open the door, please. What's your name? I'm DC Brooks, and I'll show you the warrant card as soon as you open this door. It's the police. Oh, well, you better let them in then. This is a peaceful, legitimate protest. It's an illegal protest. No. Uh... We've got a right to be here. No, you don't. You're trespassing on private property, and unless you leave immediately, I'll be forced to arrest you Come all. On. You can't do this. I can, and I will. Now, you've made your point, you've caused a lot of inconvenience. The question is, are you prepared to go to prison? I'll give you two minutes to think about it. I expect you to help them come to the right decision. What's going on? They're thinking about it. I don't want them thinking about it. I want them out of there. Can we do this my way? I was hoping for tear gas and tasers. I'm sure you were. I think we can end this without the fireworks. Give them a break, eh? What if they decide they won't come out? I have every confidence they'll make the right decision. <sighs> Gentlemen, is there a problem? Well, what are we going to do? Because I can't go to prison. I have to look after Faye. I have a business to run. People need papers. Well, we can't just give in. Then he wins. Uh, and we don't know what they've got out there. I mean, they could have helicopters, water cannon, all sorts. I think we have to leave. Well, I'm sorry, I disagree. Tyrone's right. If we go out now, he's won. I vote that we call his bluff. If they want me out, they're going to have to drag me out, kicking and screaming. I vote that we stay and we fight to the bitter end. Who's with me? <laughs> It's more than two minutes. Come on, this isn't working. Call for backup. Backup? There's only five of them. I don't care. I want them out, and I want them out now. You don't need to. We are law-abiding citizens. This protest is not over. If you say so. The fight continues. We will not allow your sleazy enterprise to pollute our community. Lock her up first. <laughs> A word. What took you so long? You were doing nothing wrong. You are a serving police officer. You should not be getting involved with protest groups. I live round here. You didn't need to do this. I had my orders now. I'm giving you yours. Make this go away. 
No more protests. No more hassle for Mr. Duckworth. No hard feelings, eh? She's right. We won't give up because what you're doing is not right. More fool you. You're wasting your time. I have friends in very high places. This club is gonna open and there's not a thing that you can do about it. Oh, well. That was all very exciting while it lasted. Mm, there was talk of tear gas and tasers. <laughs> yeah, well, it's back to the daily grind of making ends meet, although my ends show very little sign of meeting any time soon. Oh, well, listen, if you're looking for a job, then I might be able to help. <sighs> oh, no. I, I have a job, you know, in the cafe. Evenings? Listen, I was just about to put a card in the window. I'm a family man, and all these evening shifts, they keep me away from my twins. Think about it. If they've tampered with anything, I'll sue them. You're lucky. You were occupied by squatters who left the place in their better state than when they arrived. No mess, no rubbish. <laughs> they even swept up. So you can get cracking now? Yeah, first thing in the morning. And we're back on track. Oh, no, 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 no. We're way behind schedule, mate. If you want us back on track, then I'm going to have to take on more men, and that's going to cost more, a lot more. Don't worry about that. I can raise the cash. And we open on time. Yeah, well, you get the money and the manpower, and I guarantee you'll open on time. That's what I want to hear. Brooks as good as told me so. So what is it, then? What's going on? I don't know. Brooks wouldn't get involved in something like that unless someone squeezed someone else's palm. It's not his style. Well, why did you tell us to give in? Because he's my superior officer and he told me to. That's how it works. He made it very clear that he could make my situation at work very unpleasant if I made things difficult for him. What, he threatened you? He was pressured into getting involved. I don't understand what's going on here. What did Terry say to you? He had friends in high places? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. I don't know if it's secret handshakes, mutual back scratching or all-out corruption, but something stinks. Well, then we've got to do something about it. <laughs> like what? Well, I don't know. You're the copper. But we can't let Terry get away with this. We have to stop him. Get on with it. Yeah. I said bring your overalls. What do I need them for? Look, when we get this place up and running, you will be my right-hand man. But... But for now, it's all hands on deck. You want me helping them? I know you're not afraid of an hard day's work. You're like me. But labouring. You'd be doing me a massive favour. <sighs> all right, look, I'll put my overalls on and then we'll get stuck in. Not me. I've got meetings all day. Besides, the suit, it's on me. Have to grease a few more palms, eh? Deluded. There's no way them coppers would have shown up the other day unless some dodgy was going on. Yeah, me. A local businessman, taxpayer and employer was being prevented from carrying out building work that had full planning permission. Yeah, but how did you get it? My business plans, my licenses are completely 100% legit. I saw you giving Owen Armstrong a bag full of cash. And is cash not a recognised form of payment in the motor trade? Well, some at Fishy's going on, I know it is. You just can't accept I made something of myself. Don't suit your image of me. You'll never change. You're a low life and you always will be. <sighs> you need to lighten up. When we open, I'm going to get one of my best girls to give you a private dance on the house. Only way I'll come near one of your knocking shops is in a bulldozer. I have cut you plenty of slack. Out of respect for me mum and dad. But don't push your luck, eh? So he threatened you? Yeah, just now in the street. He knows I want to. He actually assaulted you? No, but he was very menacing. And were there any witnesses? He covers his tracks well. He's a smart operator. How do you think he got that dodgy licence? Look, there's no actual evidence that he's done anything wrong. <laughs> yeah, well, I know how he operates. Suppose he's played by the rules and followed all the correct procedure. People do get permission to open places like that. In a residential area, I very much doubt it. You made your views clear. What have you achieved? So what do you want us to do, throw in the towel? <laughs> no way. We might have lost the battle, but we have not lost the war. Well, count me out, I've already had my card marked. Well, I'm sorry you feel like that, I mean, if you're not with me. Of course I'm with you, don't be stupid, but I can't be seen to be getting involved. So, do any of you know the correct procedures to open a place like that? Well, it's a council matter. Obviously, you take it up with a local councillor. Well, Deirdre used to work for the council, didn't she? Perhaps she'd help. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Let's go and see her. Yeah. What now? Yeah, come on, time's running out, Norris. I'll see you later. Bacon 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 b
Can I point out, I was only a PA. But a vital cog, nonetheless. Occasionally, if there was about a bird flu, I'd be allowed near the photocopying machine. You must have gained an insight into how the department worked. How, how someone might work the system to, to their advantage. Well, yeah, Terry would need a special license for this sort of thing. The fella in charge of him was called Charles Pete, but he's probably retired by now. Charles Pete? Anyway, there was a rumour, and it, it was only that that he was on the take. Idle gossip. He had a Rolex. Could have been fake. This is all making sense now. Terry has obviously pawed off this peak fella. Your words, not mine. I say we storm the town hall and demand to see him. Oh, is that wise? I propose we go to the gardening centre instead. Oh, I'm sorry, but I, I, I think we've gone as far as we can with this town hall. Well, we can't give in now. Sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm so sorry. Oh. It's just dropped. So, the councillor who approved Terry's application is bent. Says who? Deirdre Barlow. Has she got proof? No. Was well, she on the council? She used to be a PA. It all makes sense. In Tyrone land. Quitter. I'm not a quitter. You can't just jump to conclusions and, and even if you're right, what are you going to do? Well, I'm going to storm the town hall and demand answers. Storm? What's his councillor? What's he called? Councillor Pete. I'm sure he's quaking in his boots. Uh, I'm a voter. He can't afford to ignore me. <laughs> Why are you doing this, Ty? Well, I'm doing it for the street and the community. And for Jack and Vera. So it's not the club you're objecting to, it's Terry? Yeah. Because he's a selfish lowlife. He broke Jack and Vera's hearts. He, he used them. He let them down over and over again. It's no way he's changed his spots. And I'm going to be the one to expose him. Right, I'm off. I want answers. You won't get any if you let your emotions take over. I know how angry you are about this, but you can't just go into the town hall all guns blazing. You need to employ a bit of tact and diplomacy. So you come with me? You know the strength of the public feeling about this club, and you know as well as I do that Terry Duckworth is a sleazebag. I can't get involved. You could put the case across much better than I could. Come on. I can't. Please. Look, I know you're a copper, but you're a local resident as well. All right, but you do the talking, not me. I'm just there to give you a bit of moral support. Brilliant. I suppose if this councillor is dodgy, and that's a big if... An extra pair of eyes might come in handy. Yeah. And I feel nervous just being here. You're the one says he's a crook. So get in there. Demand answers. Oh, and before you start lobbing the Molotov cocktails. It's not like a banana daiquiri. You stay calm. You tell him you're here on behalf of the residents of Coronation Street. Right, OK. Say you want to lodge your objections to the proposed new lap dancing club with Councillor Peake. I, um, <clears throat> I've, I've come to see Councillor Peake. I'll be with you in a minute. I'm PC Soames. This is my colleague PC Dobbs. We need to see Councillor Peake. He's not here, I'm afraid. Do you want me to call my boss? Take a seat over there. Come on, Dobbs. Official's office. I expect the job this, sticking for dirt. You told a pack of lies out there. Yeah, well, I've had a little mooch. We'll leave. Nobody be any the wiser. You won't. We've got a chance like this lands in our lap. Got access to his computer, his filing cabinet, post. Drives a Merc. Very nice. Well, I'll tell you what you won't find. You won't find an email saying, uh, Dear Terry, we're happy to inform you. We've whistled through your dodgy application. Please send a check by reply. Love, Charles. This email's a password protected anyway. Well, can we go now? Oh, so much for storming the town hall. You're totally wimping out on me. Who the hell are you? 